good day so there's this really lot is going online buying a call for eight hundred dollars and you sell it for a thousand dollars then you buy it again for eleven hundred dollars and then you sell it again for thirteen hundred dollars so they want to know how much did the person earn all right so some people are saying that they earn three hundred dollars some are saying four hundred dollars so the main dispute is between the three hundred dollars and the four hundred dollars but then you have others who are saying two hundred dollars and then some even some people are saying a hundred dollars so we are from a hundred to four hundred dollars okay so i think the person has made four hundred dollars and this is my reasoning for saying that and i'm going to show you five different ways of how i look at it okay so the first thing you can look at it as a separate as as separate transactions so the first transaction you have eight hundred dollars and then you make a thousand dollars so when you take away eight hundred from a thousand that leaves you with two hundred dollars so you made two hundred dollars in the first transaction the second transaction now you bought it for eleven hundred dollars and you sold it for thirteen hundred dollars so that's a difference of two hundred dollars so two hundred dollars from the first transaction two hundred dollars from the second transaction you made a total of four hundred dollars right next way you can look at it is to next way i look at it is to add at the total amount of money that you you spend to buy the car so you're going to have the eight hundred dollars right and then you're going to have the eleven hundred dollars because that's the total you used to spend and then you're going to have the total amount that you sold it for so you're going to have the thousand dollars plus the thirteen hundred dollars so when you take away when you had thousand dollars and thirteen hundred dollars you're going to have two thousand three hundred dollars so you you take away nineteen hundred dollars from two thousand three hundred dollars and that should give you four hundred dollars still another way you can look at it is you can start from the biggest sale okay bigger sale so you use the first the second transaction first to say you bought the the call for eleven hundred dollars and then you sold it for thirteen hundred dollars you made a profit of two hundred dollars right there right so when you take away eleven hundred from thirteen hundred you give it get you get two hundred dollars so now you have thirteen hundred dollars now so you take out eight hundred dollars out of that money and you buy a call so when you take out eight hundred dollars from that money you're going to have five hundred dollars leave right so you take out eight hundred dollars out of that money and then you buy you buy a call for eight hundred dollars and then you sold it for eleven hundred dollars so eleven hundred and no so a thousand and five is going to be fifteen hundred so when you take away the remember so you started out with eleven hundred so when you take away eleven hundred from the fifteen hundred you still have four hundred dollars right I'm to go again with that one you have a hundred dollars you bought a call for for eleven hundred dollars you have, you bought the call for eleven hundred dollars you sold it for thirteen hundred dollars you would have made a profit of two hundred dollars right there right then you buy the call again for eight hundred dollars so you're going to take out eight hundred dollars out of your thirteen hundred dollars so that's going to leave you with five hundred dollars so you buy the call for eight hundred dollars you sold that call for a thousand dollars so now you have thousand dollars plus the fifteen hundred dollars I remember you started out with eleven hundred dollars so when you take away eleven hundred from the fifteen hundred you have four hundred dollar dollars another way you can look at it is to give yourself a figure yes so the person had nine hundred dollars in their pocket doesn't matter just give yourself a figure that you can work with so the person had nine hundred dollars starting with nine hundred dollars right 
and they bought a car for eight hundred dollars and then they sold it for one thousand dollars so that one thousand dollar that they have plus the hundred dollar that is left from the nine hundred dollar is going to give you eleven hundred dollar so that person would have made a profit of two hundred dollar there because they bought the car for eight hundred dollar sold it for a thousand dollar so when you minus eight hundred from a thousand you have two hundred dollars so you made a profit of two hundred dollar there right so you now take the eleven hundred dollars now and you buy the car again and then you sold it for thirteen hundred dollars right so now that you have no all the money that you have in your name is thirteen hundred dollars so remember you started out with nine hundred dollars so when you take away nine hundred from thirteen hundred you're going to have four hundred dollars still and using the last one the borrow so say you didn't have enough money but you have to borrow it at the end of the day it's still going to work out to be four hundred dollars so okay so you started out with eight hundred dollars and you bought a call for the eight hundred dollars and then you sold it for a thousand dollars so you made a profit of two hundred dollars right there okay so you are short so you borrowed some money from someone you cannot borrow from the money that you already made because it is already short and you already made that two hundred dollars so that's all that's all, that's already a profit so you cannot borrow from that money you have to borrow from someone else so you borrow from someone else or even if you borrow from yourself you borrow a hundred dollars and you put it to the thousand dollars you have you now have when you buy back that same car for eleven hundred dollars and then you sold it for thirteen hundred dollars right remember you started out with eight hundred dollars so when you take away eight hundred dollar from thirteen hundred dollar you're going to have five hundred dollars so because you borrowed from someone the hundred dollar you have to return that hundred dollar to the person so you still so you make four hundred dollars so that's how i look at it to say that the answer is four hundred dollar you might have a different way of working it out but these five ways to me is, is how i how i get it so please share whatever you think it is so that we can learn from each other at the end of the day it's about reasoning with each other iron sharp met iron so let me know how do you get it let me know if these reasonings seem logical to you or not peace out so always remember that um, profit is the selling cost or the selling price minus the cost price so what you sell the thing for you're going to minus the cost of it that's how you know if you get a profit just don't be don't be confused by the 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 wording and the numerous transaction just look at it there is always a simple way to look at things in life just look at it this simple way you started out with eight hundred dollars in your pocket right and now you have thirteen hundred dollars that's what you have now so you started out with eight hundred dollars I know you have thirteen hundred dollars so you would have had a difference because the difference between thirteen hundred and eight hundred is five hundred dollars but because you borrowed remember you were short so you borrowed so you have four hundred dollars for yourself you started out with eight hundred dollars I know you have thirteen hundred dollars you borrowed hundred dollars from someone so you return that so you have four hundred dollars is it just look at it simple it's simple there's always a simple way to look at life but many of us choose to look at it the the difficult or the complicated way you started out with eight hundred dollars and now you have thirteen hundred dollars you had to borrow hundred dollar so you return that hundred dollars so you have four hundred dollars leave but thanks for listening to me let me know your feedback so if you had made just a hundred dollar the amount of money you would have in your pocket would be eleven hundred dollars. Now you if it if it was if it was a hundred dollars that you made, you would have had a thousand dollar in your pocket, right? 
and then after you return the hundred dollar to, to, to whoever you borrowed it from you would have nine hundred dollars so eight hundred plus a hundred is nine hundred dollars so you would have made only a hundred dollar profit so you, your total amount of money would be a thousand dollars and then you return the hundred dollar you have borrowed then you would have only made nine hundred dollars if it was two hundred dollars was what was the earnings you would have had eleven hundred dollars in your name right and when you return the hundred dollar to whoever you borrowed it from you just have a thousand dollars so when you minus eight hundred from a thousand you just make two hundred dollar profit and if it was three hundred dollar would was the profit that you have made you would have had twelve hundred dollars in your pocket right so when you return the hundred dollar to whoever you borrowed it from you would have had eleven hundred dollars so when you subtract 800 from 1100 you have 300 dollars so now because you have made 400 dollars you have 1300 dollars in your pocket right so when you give back that person whoever you borrowed the 100 dollar from you now have 1200 dollars so when you subtract 800 from 1200 you have 400 dollars thanks again